Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Today is November 25th. I hope everybody's having a wonderful mor Monday morning, and we have a brand new article for you today. Today's article is on plants and how they don't help indoors like we were once told they do. So without further ado, let's dive on in. It's a story you would virtually hope would not necessarily be busted, but hoped it would be somewhat true. We have always been told as we're growing up that the myth of bringing plants inside will actually give off uh, pure air, or either at the very least it'll help clean it. Well, this is not the case. From a fast web search, you wouldn't guess that that was the case, mostly due to the fact that people will continuously say, if you bring this plant in, it'll purify the air, bring this one in, it'll help with toxins in the air, so on and so forth. Well, that's not exactly the truth. In a recent study printed by the Journal of Exposure Science and Environmental Medicine, they have conducted 12 incidentally pl uh, plants that were supposed to help clean the air, but in fact, they ran a toxicity screening on the air and came back with negative results. They tested 196 plants over the past decade, and I've come to the conclusion that a tiny low plant might take a variety of poisons that were conducted in the labs, but a typical experiment consisting of a plant during a little chamber with air, uh, with gassy molecules and stuff of that nature, very little was removed. One showed that in precisely 24 hours, uh, a common social unit might would only take a simple fraction of the gas that it was exposed to. That's within 24 hours. The problem with these experiences, though, is that the, the densely gassy chambers within the works don't mimic day-to-day -day activities, uh, not in homes, not in social places, or working atmospheres. So many of the blogs and vendors selling air purifying plants to propose a better healing environment and so on and so forth, they're selling frauds, mostly due to the fact that plants will slow down VOCs in airtight containers that way that you could actually get somewhat purified air, but customers don't actually get that. So like to gauge how plants would possibly act during a lot of typical social units atmospheres, they calculated a clean air density rate, CADR, for every unit of measurement. By standardizing these results, they found that you have to have a minimum of 12 plants in one room just to get the volume to drop slightly. That was before a 24 hour time period though. So the lesson we could all pretty much take away from this is plants are better for outdoors where they can massively handle all of it. Bringing it inside, however, you'd have to live in a greenhouse for it to do very much of anything. And we don't recommend that at all. So without further ado, that's all we have time for today. If you will, please remember that you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Anchor, TikTok, and Snapchat. And remember, as always, we are here. Hope everybody has a wonderful day, and thank you very much. Bye-bye.